Today I want to talk to you about race as a way of knowing and a way to be known. I'm going to be using some ideas by Patricia Hill Collins, Sarah Ahmed and Linda Martin Elkaf. According to standpoint theory, individuals' own perspectives are shaped by his or her social and political experiences. Black women's political and economic status provides them with a distinctive set of experiences, which is not available to other groups, for example. It means that a middle-class black woman and a middle-class white woman would have different experiences, even if they live, for instance, in the same city. It also means that because of our race, we are socialized differently. Take, for example, black fathers. They have to talk to their kids about how to be around the police, unlike white fathers, who do not usually have the need to do that. Or the airport situation. Some people would have to come earlier for the departure because they know that they might be stopped to have some additional checks because of their race. Among other, there is a notion of whiteness, which obviously has to do with being white, in seeing one's race as a center, which often comes as unmarked, neutral, almost natural. But it has to be changed. Like heteronormativity is not the only normal sexuality, whatever that might mean. Being white should not mean being neutral or natural. Whiteness orients bodies in specific directions, affecting how they take up space. According to researchers, whiteness is also an orientation that puts certain things within reach. Whiteness is invisible and unmarked, is the absent center against which others appear only as deviant. The effect of this wrong whiteness is the institutionalization of a certain likeness, which makes non-white bodies feel uncomfortable, exposed, visible, different when they take up the space. When people brush off the idea that race is irrelevant, it doesn't make it less relevant. Race continues to determine job prospects, career possibilities, available places to live, potential friends and lovers, reactions from police, etc. So we need to be aware of that. Thank you for watching this video up to the very end. If you did enjoy it, it always means a lot when you take a moment to give it a thumbs up. Also, you can subscribe to my channel not to miss the next video. My name is Yulia Muryamova and it's all about you.